If you truly believe that this child is the chosen one. What is his name? Jesus. Joel and Mariah, what an honor to get some time with you. I know you're you're so busy. We got uh, concerts going on right now. And then, of course, this big movie out in theaters. Mm. Hey, no. we're lucky to be with you. We are, yeah. And, yeah. and from our home for the moment, no less, which is quite hey. nice. Let's talk about this um, film. And I absolutely, I told you before we got started, my daughter and I, um, we automatically, like in the middle of watching it, we hadn't even finished it. And we said, my daughter looked at me and said, this is like my favorite Christmas movie now. Like, oh. that's how good it is. The music in it is so good. Uh, well, we can't take credit for, <laughs> for the songs. We, we, we sung them. We did not write or produce them. So that's kudos to Nikki and Adam Anders. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I loved when I first got a little tiny sneak peek, it was over uh, the summer at a convention and Rich Peluso, one of the, the producers behind this as well, he was bragging on you, Mariah. And he said, you know, he said she was cast first and then Joel came on board a little bit later and he was uh, kind of shared a little bit of backstory and said they came to you and they said, listen, we don't want to steal your thunder. We want to make sure like we're so excited to have you on this project and they all they did was just compliment the two of you and what how strong you guys are together mm -hmm. and how you just said right away, you know what? No, of course I want him on board. Like mm -hmm. it just which a, a such a sweet picture of marriage, I thought, and the relationship mm -hmm. that y'all have and encouraging other each other in this creative space where let's face it, I know that sometimes competitiveness, you know, can sneak in. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. You're the realist for saying that. Honestly, thank you. And thank you for being willing to verbalize a fact that I think people don't say enough. And so people get into marriage and they're like shocked that there's competitiveness or envy mm. or jealousy. And it's like, you, you just because you love a person doesn't mean you're suddenly not a human being <laughs> capable of, of being insecure. So, um, I, I'm glad that we get to normalize that. I'm glad that we get to address it and share that, um, you know, there's, for us, I, I think it's less about stealing someone else's thunder and it's more about what can we do to lift up the other person, mm -hmm. create opportunity for the other person. And Joel has held the door open for me in the music space so many times um, and this was a very special and unique opportunity to hold the door open for him in the mm -hmm. film space. So I, I'm, I'm grateful that we get to have each other's back in that way. And talk a little bit about that, Joel, and, and how that was to come on board. And I mean, just seeing the two of y'all in the project, I want more. I like it works. <laughs> mm. So, I mean, I, I guess talk a little bit about that on on when you did enter this and say, yeah, I want to be a part of it. It seems like you were kind of made for this role. Like this was kind of perfect. The song, even my daughter was like, wait, is this on the radio? Like, can we like it's perfect? Yeah. Well, it was, as Mariah Apley said, it was um, she held the door wide open um and and in a way that was very graceful and very guttural as well you know i think that's part of look couples collaborate on bringing children into the world they might collaborate on a house project but to collaborate on a creative project we're serving the creator of the universe and part of that is creating human life but part of that is creating a song together and creating in this case a, a picture together and you know, the first week we met, we wrote a song together. We wrote a love song that was kind of written into our love story. And so this is this is very second nature, but it does not, like you well said, it does not come without its complexity and complication. Um, Mariah was invited to be part of the project at the end of last year to play Mary's sister, Deborah. And Deborah, kind of as you saw in the film, really is this uh, maternal, a sort of a sisterly voice to encourage Mary in matrimony and in uh, becoming a mother. And then my character sort of is towards the back end of the film. We're never in the same scene, which is sort of fun. There's, there's moments where like 
she'll be a close up of her and then we'll go to a close up of me, which we just got a real kick out of. But the way real to life way it came about was she was over in Spain for a month. Um, and I was initially not really sure about it because she's working on a country Latin project right now. And it's like this, you know, this is going to be a lot. And it's a lot of, you know, time expense. And um, she was over there for a month and she, she called midway through. I was about 48 hours away from going over to visit for the first time. And she said, hey, they've just cast Antonio Banderas to play Herod. What do you think about? That they want you to play his son. And you're sort of like, I was getting on an American Airlines flight. My AirPods weren't working and we were FaceTime. I was like, what are you, <laughs> what are you actually talking about? You know? And so instead of going over four days, I went over for four weeks and we got to have this four weeks together and, um, you know, on working on the choreography, channeling my inner boy band, you know, the choreography for in my blood, but there was something really beautiful. And this is when it's a, a shout out to both Nikki and Adam Anders in that, um, they crafted a film and told the story of Jesus in such a beautiful way as a couple that they were able to find the right voices for the right places that felt very natural. Like I looked at Mariah in her role on screen. I was like, this is a very natural place for you to be in. And I'd like to think Antipoda was a very natural character for me. And, it, and, and it, it's just fun to be a couple, to be invited into this by a couple. Uh, I, celebrating a film about you know the great one of the great couples in human history you know uh so a lot of lot of love a lot of love throughout this process what was your initial thought because there has been and i feel like i can bring this up of a, of a big uh fan of the chosen as well obviously you too mariah and there was i felt like this little um moment of what you know your character king herod's son of of you know, them taking a little bit of liberties with this story. But to me, it yeah. played out so beautifully that I got it right away. And I don't want to give any mm -hmm. spoilers. Um, but I think a lot of people struggle with, am I who my parents are? You know, the sins of your parents. I mean, yeah. a lot of people can struggle with that. And I thought it was such a beautiful picture of, you know what, this was plausible. Yeah, well, without ruining too much for the viewer, you're, you're spot on, Carly, and that was part of what, I don't know why, but films have found me, whereas I'm always playing guys with daddy issues. Like I, <laughs> I did a country film years ago where Billy Ray Cyrus was my dad and he, he was an alcoholic. And and then um, this film with King Herod being a dad, and then I play my dad in Unsung Hero, which is a film coming out next year, which we'll talk about at some point. But um, I, I'll say I've... <sighs> Someone said once that, you know, filmmaking is a portrait and documentaries are a picture. You know, you take certain liberties with a portrait. And what I loved about Anza Potter is it's an historical figure. Uh, he was actually killed by his father, King Herod. Um, he was the firstborn son. And, um, but this, without going into too many spoilers, there's an interaction that Anza Potter has with Jesus. Uh, baby Jesus. And one would argue that he was the first convert to Christianity. Um, he was the first believer in Jesus, one of the first people to ever see him. And I, and, and I don't think it's probably the truth, but I do think the symbolism of the son of an evil king being introduced to the true king and it moving him so much that he changes his whole life it's such a cool narrative. And I think it speaks to the power of the gospel. And so whenever, the, whenever you take and you kind of create a portrait and, and it conveys the power of the gospel in a new way, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So uh, Mariah, though, we have to talk a little bit about The Chosen and uh, put you on the spot here a little bit, but I know how much you love the show, obviously, because you agreed to be a part of it, but we want more. And I think the fans loved it. Um, so if you can, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, will there be more? What's your, what can you tell me? <laughs> uh, well, I can tell you that I was able to be in season three, the end of season three. And, um, it was really special to play the role of Batsheva. And, um, it was a small, uh, it felt like a cameo, but the audition that they had me use initially was so it was such an over the top 
character and moment, it, it was essentially having a mental breakdown on camera for my audition. So I was like, why did they have me go to such great lengths uh, in my audition for this, this really just serene, peaceful moment at the end of season three? Well, I'll tell you this. When my character comes back in season four, it all makes sense. <laughs> now I know why they had me audition with uh, such a, a, an expressive piece, if you will. And um, I'm excited for people to see it. Bring, bring your tissue boxes. Mm. I've always got to keep them on hand watching that show anyways. Well, uh, again, let's end here though, because I do, you have the other movie coming out, The Unsung Hero. Um, yeah. I just love what movies and films and Joel, I feel like, you know, you and your team have known this for a while because this is not your first film. You've been doing it and mixing it with music for a while. Um, but there's something with that music and TV shows and movies, they can reach people in a different way outside of the church. And I feel like in... Mm -hmm. In this world where church is on the decline, church membership, we are trying to reach people for Jesus. And this, what a, what a special way to do it. Well, he's the, God is the creator of creativity, is the creative art, is the creative entertainment. And so I think music and movies are these great mediums that um, are God ordained, you know, and so I think um, our encouragement this weekend is, and, and even going into Thanksgiving is, hey, um, you all are the ones that decide, the listeners and the viewers are the ones that decide whether we have a job or not, and whether this type of content will continually be made. And so I encourage you to go out and obviously see Journey to Bethlehem, take a friend, go see it again. But even if you can't, even throw your vote or, or your name in the hat or show a bit of solidarity by even just just buying a ticket, even if your schedule doesn't allow you to go. I was talking to Dallas Jenkins the other day, speaking of The Chosen. He was like, he's gotten to see it since, but he said, before I even got to see it, I was, he was too busy over the opening weekend. He just bought a ticket mm. just to say, I support this. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, I think we can rally. This is the second weekend, and the way the theatrical works is if it does well the second weekend, it will, it will go all the way through to Christmas. But this is a real pivotal moment for the film and in the theatrical run. So we're, we're excited to see what comes of it all. As you should be, because uh, we're going to claim it, that it's going to make its way through Christmas. And I just want to thank you both again for using mm -hmm. your talents. Um, you know, yes, entertainment and creativity comes from God, but it needs people that are in prayer and that are seeking mm -hmm. him. And I can tell by the fruits, you know, that you guys, uh, both of you are. So it's just... It's such an honor to help promote it and get the word out and and have good quality stuff to say, hey, go watch this, go see this, go listen to this. So again, job well Thank done you. and uh, enjoy the holiday season. We will. Thank hey, you. Hey, great so to much. see you as always, dear girl. Mm -hmm. tragic and it's exciting and the music hits multiple tones as well you know when I do in my blood in this room it's a very emotional scene but then when Antonio and I did good to be king I was crying I was laughing so hard because it's such a funny moment I love that not only is there music that's a central theme in this but that the music has range you know that's important what is it?